so I'm going to set you up with Sinclair ZX Spectrum in Retrobat. So anyone outside of the UK who's likely not heard of the Sinclair ZX Spectrums, they were a British computer during the 1980s, and the first 48K model, or 16K model, came out around 1982. And the man in the picture, this is Clive Sinclair, who invented the Sinclair computers. Really clever bloke. Uh, in America, at the same time, you were likely playing around with floppy disks with the Apple IIe, whilst at the same time, we was mainly loading from cassette tapes. A bit before my time, I actually had a C64 in 1990, but I still got a love for the Spectrum, and I really admire what Clive Sinclair did at the time for the British computing industry. So let's get on with this. Uh, so first things first, just hit notifications if you like this video uh, to make sure you keep up to date with my upcoming Retrobat content. And also check out my other videos on Batacera, Retroarch, Launchbox, and so on. Uh, so let's go to BatGUI. Now, if you don't have this on your desktop, the easiest way to access BatGUI is by right-clicking on your Retrobat shortcut, open file location, and you'll find back to you i just here i always recommend this because we can find out what file types or file extensions uh, Retrobat requires. So if you go to the system at the top and find ZX Spectrum, and if you don't have this option or nothing appears, just reinstall Retrobat and make sure you download and install the DirectX pack. That's an all in one pack. And I've got a setup guide for how to get you up and running in another tutorial in uh, my playlist for Retrobat. So on with this, we've got Manic Miner just here, which is one of the quintessential ZX Spectrum games of the day which most kids were raving about back in the early 80s and this is in a dot zip format so if we look at extensions just here we got a top dot tzx dot tap dot z80 and so on and as you can see it just says here dot zip so all these file extensions you can use now let's back out of here and what i'm going to do next is obviously drag and drop my zx spectrum game into the ROMs folder and right at the bottom the last folder is going to be ZX Spectrum so just drag your game inside of here and I'm going to show you at the end of this video where you can grab ZX Spectrum games recent ZX Spectrum games to play uh, yeah brand new releases in 2023 so uh, keep on watching the video and find out where to get those but for now that's in place in our ROM folder and I'm going to open up Retrobat and we got Sinclair ZX Spectrum up here. If we go in here, here's my game. I'm going to just scrape it to get some artwork. And here we go. So game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go, Manic Miner. Now, if you press select button or whichever button takes you to view options, if we go to advanced system options, under emulator, you're going to find two retro arch cores. So we got Fuse and that's FB Neo. Now, trust me, Fuse is a great core and it's also got a standalone emulator also by Fuse or uh, the creators of Fuse. It's a very good emulator or core to use. So... By auto, it will select this, but let's just select Fuse anyway. And if we just go down until we get to emulation, machine type. Now, there are several different machines and models of Sinclair Spectrum. We got uh, the 48K, and I said a minute ago, there was actually a 16K model uh, at the release of the first ZX Spectrum. So you had the 16K or the 48K. Uh, like I say, this one don't feature a 16K, but it's not a problem. Uh, we also got the Spectrum 128K. Uh, now, the plus two, the plus three, uh, that's the Alan Sugar years when he bought Sinclair Research and uh, rebranded it to Amstrad CPC. And we've also got Timex machines, which I believe was an American version of the Sinclair Spectrum. Uh, Pentagon and Scorpion are, I believe, Russian versions of ZX Spectrum. So that's your machine types, and if you find some games don't work, then it's quite likely that your machine type needs to be changed. So say, for example, you've got a ZX Spectrum, 
game which is requiring a 128k model you're going to need to select a 128k model uh, now for manic minor this was a very early release in zx spectrum years so it's going to be the 48k model uh, normally if you just leave this to auto it normally picks up whatever machine is for uh, but let's just play safe and i'm going to select 48k for this one so I think a lot of the time people are going wrong because it says press enter to start. And of course, you can try the keyboard. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. On this occasion, my keyboard is just works by pressing enter. Now, if you need the keyboard for anything in specific and your computer keyboard doesn't work, if you just press select like I'm doing now on my PlayStation 3 control, it's going to bring up a virtual keyboard. And this is of the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 4. 48k or 16k uh, both models 16k and 48k were the same case just different memory so this is a uh, manic minor here and i didn't need to configure my controller for this and um yeah you know to younger people watching this uh it looks trash and for those of an age who remembers teletext then you'll likely think this looks a bit like a teletext type uh situation going on um but it's a decent game and it's a highly regarded game in the zx community so that's about it and as you can see i've got bezels around the side just here this is uh the sides where we can see sinclair zx spectrum so let's exit out of this game and go into the video setting so video options advanced system options now, as always, each emulator or each system in Retrobat has various different settings we can play with, and they vary from system to system. So, just a minute ago, I said about the sides, and we had the Sinclair ZX Spectrum bezels. If I put this to none, it's going to disable them. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the 4x3 ratio to 16 by 9 which I always do because I think it looks better once we sort this out. So that's going to give us a stretched image. Uh, integer scaling, I always say on to this. Uh, that's going to clean up the pixelation. Vertical sync to yes to eliminate screen tear. We go down to video, CRT screen output. We can mess around with various CRT settings. So CRT meaning an original TV, the big box old school TVs. And CRT screen resolution, you can mess around with uh, CRT scan lines, that type of thing. Now, if we just go down to visual rendering, uh, if we put bilinear filter into on, this is going to blur out a little bit so the pixelation isn't so blatant and in your face. And that's about it. So let's just go back into Manic Minor. And here we go. So as you can see, it's a full screen. And it looks pretty good for an all-ZX Spectrum game. And I'm playing this on an OLED screen, and it looks really vibrant. It looks really good. Okay, I think that's enough of Manic Minor. So let's just exit out of here. Okay, so this is itch.io, and I recommend this website from time to time you'll find a lot of old games or rather new games for retro vintage uh platforms so if i just go to search for games or creators and just type in zx spectrum a whole list of games is going to come up now this game in particular just here alias new plasma i did a little gameplay video of a while back uh, so there's two versions of it here if you da download this and uh we'll just go to no thanks just so take me to downloads and download so we got two different versions of this and i'm going to show you how to get that 128k model working this is obviously a 128k specific game we've also got a next folder inside uh, so for those of you unaware the zx spectrum next is a fairly new zx spectrum computer so what i'm going to do i'm not doing a zx spectrum next guide i'm doing a spectrum guide so inside of here we got three different files and these are dot taps now we got an english a spanish game version and a russian so i'm going to just drag out the english version of this aliens game and again i'm going to go to retrobat open file location and go to roms and just scroll down to the last option which is zx spectrum now like i say this is going to work as it is a dot tap so dot tap is a cassette tape image now let's open up retrobat again uh go back into the folder now 
what we need to do in this case is go back to advanced system options and if i go down to emulation i need to change that machine type to 128k so let's open this one up and here we go so again if i need to access the keyboard uh, for zx spectrum if my physical keyboard don't work i just press select on my controller to do this And uh, this game itself, it came out around a month ago, and I highly recommend it. It's a really cool game. And it's very reminiscent of Alien 3, say, on Mega Drive. So that's it for my ZX Spectrum setup guide today for Retro Bat. Like I say, it's one I've been meaning to do for a while, but I've been too busy doing different tutorials in the background. Uh, so like I said at the start, if you like what you've seen today, just hit notifications. So, and be sure to check out my new memberships option. And of course, be sure to check me out on social media too. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.